In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Microsoft Photos app to edit GoPro clips to create a video or a movie. I used to use GoPro Studio, but they stopped supporting that. There are other apps that help you edit videos, but they might cost money. Microsoft Photos is free. When you have the Microsoft Photos app up and running, you have to click on that button that says New Video, Name Your Video. So in this case, I'm creating a steak video about me cooking a ribeye steak in my cast iron skillet. There's three sections. There's a photo library section in the upper left hand corner. There you want to add all the raw files, the GoPro clips that you've saved onto your computer. In the upper right hand corner, uh, there's uh, uh, videos where you can see the videos. And in the lower portion of the screen is the storyboard. Once you've dragged all your clips from the photo library onto the storyboard, you can click on each clip and view them. You can change the order on the storyboard of which clip goes first. There are a couple buttons in the storyboard, like you can add a title card. The trim button allows you to trim the start and the finish of each clip. I, I use that button a lot when I edit videos. For longer clips, you might want to use the split button, which allows you to split a clip in half. And then you can tackle those smaller clips and use the trim button to edit those. So you keep on going through your clips here to make sure that your storyboard fits. And once you've done, once you've completed everything, you can review them in the upper right hand corner where you can view the whole movie or each clip one at a time. And then you want to add a, um, a voiceover or background music. So I usually do that by launching the voice recorder app to run in the background. I click record on that. And then what I do is I go back to the Photos app and I play from the beginning. Just make sure that the volume of your laptop is turned off while you're recording your voiceover because you don't want to hear any other sound when you're doing a voice voiceover. And then you just play the whole movie and you do your voiceover and once you're done, click stop on the voice recorder and save that. It usually saves it in a folder called Sound Recordings. And you can click on this button called the Custom Audio, custom audio and add an audio file, find that sound recording and layer it over onto your video. There's another button called background music. Um, Microsoft Photos allows you to put music and lay that over to your uh, movie. That might be great. I just don't know if that will create copyright issues if I upload them to YouTube. Once you're done, click finish your video and save it as a high quality 1080p video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment or subscribe. I've got other how-to videos on my channel, including this steak video on my cast iron skillet, which you can check out. Thanks.